Well, Sunday turned out to be a great day at the Garmin round of the Costa Brim Series, brought to you by Moreton Bay Council. Peter Cashman got some redemption on the year before when he lost the event due to a time penalty. <laughs> Peter's shown that he's a real expert on this spawning run of fish at Caloundra, and he won the event by over 300 grams over Jamie McEwen. It fishes well, obviously spawning, there's a deep bite, but it's not just the deep bite, they also come up on the edges and the banks and the melon holes uh, when the conditions are right. So you just got to sort of hit the right spots at the right time. So yesterday it was mainly a deep bite, so I was catching him on the uh, Z-Man grubs and the bigger curly tail four inch street yep. Z. Yep. But uh, today it was completely different. It was pretty difficult to get the fish uh, in the spot I got them yesterday. So we moved over closer to the edges early on, uh, just a bit shallower, still fishing the Z-mans. Uh, came back to uh, where I caught them yesterday and uh, very slow there, couldn't really get a bite until I put on the, the big crank of crab and uh, that nailed the kilo one. <laughs> so I was pretty happy with that. It was the only fish I caught in that spot. So then the wind was blowing on the banks and the mullet were, you know, schooling on the banks and jumping everywhere. I thought there's got to be brim amongst those. So uh, we went over and cranked those with the jackal chubby. Nick was using the black yep. one. It might have been a pro law, I'm not sure yep. what he was using. But uh, so he filled his bag there. So that was good. You know, always good when you're on boat to get your bag as well. Okay. <laughs> certainly, yeah, yeah, we certainly couldn't have caught them all on, on any one of those four. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But in combination, uh, they got the job done, yeah. Big crab, eh? Big crab? Current Queensland Open champion Jamie McEwen and his Brim teammate Mark Sarek both pre-fished the canals at the Caloundra end of the Pumastone Passage. Now these guys split the canal and split the prize money. Jamie coming second and Mark coming fourth. You get one. Good on you, mate. Like Peter Cashman, Jamie had a multi pronged approach using cranker crabs, crabbies, and hard bodied lures to put his bags together. One for the cranky crab. Oh, cranky crab. Number Former New South Welshman and New Queenslander Blake O'Grady fished his first event at Bribie and loved the flats fishing.
I spend most of my time fishing the Pine River south of Redcliffe. Big one just under the edge. There are fish just under. Got him. Oh, another one behind him. Damn, I wish I was allowed to throw two rods in. Oh, the ones behind him are good too. Yeah, mate. It's number three anyway. He was he was suspended up under that one. First one I had off the bottom, that one I held I held it from sinking. Open your mouth, mate. And he uh, came up and had a crack. For me, one of the coolest parts of this event was using Garmin's live scope to see brim on the pylons and cast to them. We really did answer the question, can you see brim on a live scope? Well, you can, and you can catch them after you see them. One. The keeper. Jeez, that's little and skinny. He might be number four. That one's a keeper. <laughs> Watching those fish a fight on the live scope, you can actually see it coming in. It's about the same size as all the ones we had yesterday, about 25 foot. That one's number four. Oh man, I can see them all on this pole. See them on the pole. I can see them scattering to the bottom. After day one, Scott Sanderlands was sitting pretty in third place, fishing his favourite spots off the front of Redcliffe. Unfortunately, day two was full of these things and undersized brim. But Sam Peck in the back of the boat got the job done with this league. And of course, what is an ABT brim event without non-boater AOY leader Grayson Fong toweling up his boater from the back of the boat, in this case from the top of the esky. Grayson caught five and ended up in third place. And remember, if you enjoyed these highlights and want to check out all of the coverage from the Garmin round of the Costa Brim series supported by Moreton Bay Council, visit www.abt.org.au.